Butter. There you go. <laughs> and um, I kind of just, I didn't really look at like mold after anybody. I just kind of did what was comfortable okay. and it seemed to get out. And I'm thankful that my coach in junior college trusted me to, to go in and do something like that. So the slot's always kind of been like natural for you to be a little bit lower. It seems like the other part of it for you is the deception. You've got a little extra front side, you've got to hide it in the back. How hard was that to kind of get to the point where you have it now? Well, I, d I started doing that this year with Coach Myers. He, he really uh, stressed mechanics, and uh, it just happened to work out that, that what I was most consistent at and mechanically, it, it had a little bit more, hide, hide the ball a little bit more. Okay. And I didn't even really notice it that much until I had people start telling me and, and uh, some inner squads and the, our catchers saying that, that uh, stuff happened. I had a little bit more movement than last year and the year before. So I'm thankful for Coach Myers and all that he's done, and he's a great vision coach. Which do you think is more important, the deception part of it or the, the movement part of it? I think just I think it all goes into one, just kind of keeping it down in the zone because it doesn't matter how much it moves. If you leave it up and hitters get a good look at it, they're, they're probably going to hit it hard somewhere, and that's, that's with anything. If you throw 94 straight or right. 80, that Damn first, that, that one, two, three, that, I mean, I, was, I guess even the third to first base, I mean, you throw <laughs> from that low slot. Yeah, I'm comfortable throwing like that. But when I warm up and stuff, I'll, I'll throw it from uh, over the top. But when I get loose, I, I tend to throw a sidearm mostly. Okay. It's just, I feel like I'm more accurate that way, especially in game situations.